Thank you, Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. And uh, yesterday, uh, Martin asked me to say a few words today. So, uh, but I, uh, and he mentioned I should maybe say a few words about the Thai-German cooperation in also Thailand. Now I thought about it and said, oh, there's a long list, of course, of projects and corporations which have been going on for a number of years. So I thought maybe I'd present you with a slightly different uh, story, uh, which goes back to the um, 60s, when the Thai-German cooperation was created. There was this German president, Mr. Lübcke in those days, and he came and traveled with His Majesty the King through the northern part of Thailand and said, well, His Majesty, all your Thai people there, they look a little bit small and undernourished. They have to drink milk. <laughs> and I will donate a dairy fund. So Germany, the Republic of Germany, West Germany in those days, decided to donate the, work, uh, the dairy farm, you still see the dairy farm today when you travel up to Boise Tep on the right hand side, opposite of the zoo, smiling cow, the Thai German dairy farm. Why do, I, why do I say that or why do I uh, refer to this little story? In those days, Thai people didn't even drink, or adults hardly drank uh, milk. Uh, they could not even digest milk. Uh, and um, the production was very slow. Cheese production was very slow. Everything was sold to, to Bangkok. And yet, um, the farm remained and was also later used as a training center for the FAO, United Nations, or the Food and Agriculture Organization. And, interesting enough, the uh, diet of Thai people changed. The demand for dairy products changed rapidly ice cream, including um, yogurt, etc. And uh, suddenly the farm became very popular. The Germans had already gone, but however, the production increased without Germans rapidly. And today I think dairy production is a, a, a big sector of the Thai economy, also here in the north. What we, what we learned from it is that in those days, this creative idea of setting up a, a dairy farm was probably too early, take 10 years too early, and it was not regarded as being sustainable. However, later on, after even official, official closure of the project, it became sustainable. And that's the kind of uh, learning curve I also have taken with me to uh, several um, tasks and, and jobs I had in the region. Um, I think we are often too quick in saying this is not, this doesn't work, or, this, is, this is not sustainable, this doesn't, uh, it's financially not viable. It's maybe true today, but in future, uh, this particular activity could uh, be uh, a very valuable product and will contribute to the economy of a particular region. And that's, I think, the message maybe also to, to us. Let's um, support creative minds and creative projects. Some of them may not even look very viable today, but many of them become sustainable and economically viable in, in the future. And I think this is also the, maybe the role of us and also the, the ambassadors, the goodwill ambassadors, to identify these creative people, what we also learned from the presentation before. So identify the people who have these creative minds and have good ideas, so and give them support so that we think Maya will come up with unique and interesting uh, products and uh, will create also jobs for the future. Now coming back to uh, what I said earlier, the German government, yes, we are involved in a, a wide range of activities also here in the north, but the, the particular focus, I think, has always been and is even today on uh, human resources development, capital, the human capital development. And I think Martin is the, the best example. Our government has been financing his position for
for a number of years, and I hope very much also that also in future our government will support uh, his assignment and other assignments, of course, in the north, so that this kind of project, which we are this initiative, which we are all supporting, will continue with uh, someone who is also full-time engaged. I know every one of you are very busy with your own activities. It needs a core group of people who will pursue this initiative uh, continuously. Otherwise, I think it will not uh, will not sustain. So, I, from my side, from I can only speak on behalf of the say the German uh, embassy. We will definitely uh, express always our uh, support and interest to support the north of Chiang Mai, the north of Thailand, and Chiang Mai in particular, and of course a concrete um, contribution also to persons who work directly with the university or with initiatives like this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gerhard, for your kind words and also Susan once more. Thank